find the value of this step number one rewrite the expression Let's apply the formula that says 4 factorial over 4 minus 0 factorial times 0 factorial we actually use the general formula that says n combination r is n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial this is the general formula in this problem n here is 4 and r 0 so i will start with n factorial then any value here minus this that's what is here then i will repeat this value here with the factorial so 0 factorial is the same thing as 1 factorial and is equal to 1 0 factorial is not the same as 0 this is same as this is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 0 factorial is 1 everything here cancels everything here and your answer is 1 over 1 and our final answer is 1 0 factorial is 1 1 factorial is 1 2 factorial is 2 times 1 which is 2 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 which is 6 and 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which is 24 hence 5 factorial will be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which is 120 so let's solve this step number one eight combination three is going to be eight factorial over eight minus three factorial three factorial which is eight factorial over five factorial three factorial next eight factorial is eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one all over with this everything here we take everything here five we take five four we take four and if you solve this you get 56 this is our answer find the fourth term in this expansion the first term is six combination zero the second term is six combination one the third term is six combination two the fourth term is six combination three the fifth term is six combination four the sixth term is six combination five and the seventh term is six combination six why did i started with six because the highest power is six i didn't mean the highest power here is five i would have started here with five next i will repeat this and this to all of the terms each of this to all the terms i did this without including the plus next i will start with the highest power six then next is zero this six becomes five four three two one zero and this zero becomes one two three four five six each of these is multiplying next i will solve for each however i will not solve for all of them because the question is asking for the fourth term this is the fourth term this is the second term this is the third term i will concentrate on only the 
fourth term. Six combination three is 20. I have x to the power of three times two times two times two is eight. 20 times eight is 160 x to the power of three. This is our answer because this is the first term, second term, third term, and this is the fourth term. I will not solve this because the question is not asking me for expansion. Find the third term. Step number one. Step number one, I wrote out the terms. Step number two. Beware of these two x, they are together. That's why h are in brackets. Next, write their powers. This is 5, this is 0. So this is going to be 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, I will look for the third term. This is the first term. This is the second term. This is the third term. So I'll be solving this. This is the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. I'm not going to solve everything because I'm not expanding. I will concentrate just on this. So I will take this away and solve. That becomes my answer. So let's solve the third term. 5 combination 2 is 10 times this 3 will go to 2 and you have 2 to the power of 3 and this 3 will go to x, x to the power of 3 times y square. This is 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8. If you solve this you have so this becomes our answer. And this is the third term. Expand this bracket. Step number one. Step number two. Step number three. Step number four. I start with three, zero. This is two, one, zero. And this is zero, one, two, three. Next step solve for each. 3 combination 0 is 1, 3 combination 1 is 3, 3 combination 2 is 3, and 3 combination 3 is 1. This is x to the power of 3, and anything to the power of 0 is 1. This is x to the power of 2 times 4. This is x and here we have 16, 4 times 4. Here, x to the power of 0 is 1, and 4 to the power of 3 is 64. Your answer here is x to the power of 3. Your answer here is 12x to the power of 2. Your answer here is 48x. And your answer here is 64. Hence, our answer becomes this plus this plus this plus this. 